moulds or orifices, you'll see that as we come up to the first tronon, which is there, then we have brought the spout immediately over the orifice. And as we continue to pour, you'll notice the spout stays in the same position and allowing you to pour into uh, uh, a small mould or an orifice of something uh, feeding um, such thing as a, an atomizer. You see the stream of metal will remain the same over the entire pouring cycle. The beauty of it is that it will allow you, allow you to pour directly into a, into a mould and uh, it's the sort of furnace that's been used in the investment casting foundry uh, to avoid going into an intermediate ladle. Uh, we built one or two of these units. Um, the first ones we built were due were for um, a company producing uh, atomizers and uh, there they wanted to pour straight from the furnace into an atomizing chamber. Uh, since that time we built one or two units for the German market for the uh, investment casting foundry industry and generally speaking it's uh, been uh, given a lot of interest at the foundry show.